The new year is upon us. So, Will, that means baseball is right around the corner. How's this offseason been treating you? It's going good. It's going good. Uh, just trying to, you know, ease back into stuff. Um, actually just got to Tampa. So, uh, looking to work out with some of the guys around here and uh, look forward to getting going and uh, starting spring training soon. Has there been one thing in particular that you've been focused on this offseason? Um, not really in particular, just kind of get back to where I finished the season last year. Um, I felt like I ended on a high note, uh, so trying to use that momentum going into the new year. Hey, let's talk about the finish of the season. Look, you were solid all year long, but in September, a sub one ERA, what do you think really clicked for you in September? I think it was the comfortability. Um, Graham Johnson was our pitching coach in AAA, and we had talked through some stuff, uh, you know, finding lines, trusting within yourself, stuff like that. And, you know, there's going to be an adjustment at every level. Uh, and I think finally I hit that adjustment period. Uh, I got confident within myself and going out there and pitching with confidence is always, you know, better than pitching scared. <laughs> I think that's why I had a lot of success was uh, I really trusted myself more than going out there and just blindly throwing. So where does the confidence come from? Trusting your strengths rather than, you know, hey, this guy's weakness is this, this, and this, and that might not be my strength. And so going out there and just knowing that my stuff is better than the guy in the box, whether it is or not, if I believe that, um, you know, usually at the end of the day, it's going to be a, a more successful outing. What do you think has been the toughest adjustment for you overall as you've kind of navigated yourself through the double-A, uh, triple-A uh, part of the system? I think a lot of the prep work. Yeah. comes into play. Um, I know most guys in college and high school don't really, you know, usually the talent level gets you there. Um, <clears throat> and I think it's the stuff that goes on behind the scenes, such as like scouting report, preparing like for what the lineup you're about to face is for me as a starter. And so uh, looking into that and then having a game plan going into the game, uh, I think that's been the biggest adjustment because I never really had to do that before. Uh, and I think that's helped me you know, in the first couple of years that I've been with the Yankees. Most Yankee fans know exactly who you are. They are excited to see you eventually in the Bronx, fingers crossed. But if somebody doesn't know Will Warren, give me the scouting report on yourself. Um, sinker, slaughter, uh, gonna throw a mix of change-ups, four seams, cutters, but uh, mainly sinker, slaughter, and uh, gonna get a bunch of ground balls. Now, you mentioned that slider. You've kind of monkeyed around with that a little bit. Preston Claiborne in Hudson Valley, he one time pitched in the Bronx, wore pinstripes. How long did it take you to kind of find the right grip on that slider? Um, it probably took me a week or two. Um, I'd had the grip, just wasn't doing what it was supposed to do. And uh, I can remember I threw it. I've told this story before, but I threw it and I turned around with my eyes as big as they could possibly be. And I was like, uh, is that what it's supposed to do? And he's like, that's what you're going to throw right there. You just keep doing that and you'll throw that. So uh, well, that's what it's turned into. <laughs> what's that feeling like when it finally clicks and you see the break that you want to get? Um, it was more draw jaw dropping because I was like, oh, why didn't know I could throw something that moves like that? Um, but yeah, no, it's it's real nice going out there and when you have days where you feel it and you know where it's going, it's really fun. What are your goals for 2024? I want to be in the Bronx. So uh, I'm trying my best to put myself in a good position, uh, force their hand. Um, so I'm going out there uh, doing everything I do. And like I said, I'm trying to finish the season or start the season like I finished last year. So uh, I think if I do that, it puts me in a good spot. So uh, I guess that's my goal. Now, you come from a relatively small town. What do you think it's going to be like when you get to the Bronx and you're pitching at Yankee Stadium? So, actually, I've never been to Yankee Stadium. And Have you ever been to New York City? Yes, I've been to New York City. Okay. <laughs> so, I know what the big city looks like, but uh, obviously, you know, playing in Yankee Stadium, it's one of the, you know, best things to do ever. I mean, it's the New York Yankees. So, uh, I've told some of my friends, first time I go to Yankee Stadium. I kind of want it to be when I'm playing for the Yankees. So uh, hopefully that works out. But uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be different than pitching in Brandon, Mississippi. So looking forward <laughs> to it. <laughs>
Let's have a little fun, Will. I know you are very good friends with Clayton Beater. You were just at his wedding. Did you hit the dance floor? I did hit the dance floor, sadly. I don't know if uh, <laughs> if uh, people enjoyed watching that, but uh, I hit the dance floor for sure. Better dancer, you or Clayton? Well, me for sure. It's not even close. Well, he might beat me in the, like, the lawn dance because they do all that in Texas, and I don't really know what any of the two-step and then stuff like that is but uh i went to school in louisiana so i can dance a little bit i guess you can get by a little bit now big yeah. moment for clayton and his wife you also had a major milestone this off season you got engaged to darby yep what's more nerve-wracking being on the mound or dropping down to one knee no, dropping down on one knee for sure <laughs> for sure take me, take me through it i must you guys must be so excited Okay, so we were in New Orleans, terrible weather, and I was doing it outside, so I'm nervous about that. And we moved it inside, and which my sister told me that most of the time the girls are a little like, they don't think it's happening, so that they're like a little like standoffish. So I was trying to get her to go outside so that I could propose, and she's like, no, we have to save seats. And I'm like, so then I'm nervous about that. Finally got down on one knee and uh, definitely more nerve wracking than getting out there and throwing on the baseball field. But she said yes. Congratulations to you both. Thank you. Thank you.